when dr alam uh, spoke about organizing this conference as well as the uh, research workshop uh, in uh, iip delhi by iip delhi i was quite excited about it uh, let me tell you i am only 4 months old in this organization uh, on 12th november 2022 the government decided to give me additional charge of iip it is a difficult and onerous task as i have come to know now um, but uh, i am giving it my best so without talking too much about myself i want to tell you that the world of packaging uh the the kind of dimensions there are and the kind of uh, uh, complexities one has to encounter i am getting in, uh, to know about them and heading an organization like iip which is a national body under the commerce ministry government of india with uh, six other offices across the country uh it has given me opportunity to understand what exactly needs to be done what are the potentials so therefore in that light i am on the on a spree rather to get into some kind of uh, agreements memorandum of agreement we have signed with kerala government last month and uh, with the sikkim government we are in the process of establishing something because i am of a firm uh, belief that uh, packaging is a very very important part of the international and uh, domestic value chain if india has to uh, achieve uh, progress on the path of economic growth the role that the packagers of the country will play will be very very important it is not understood normally by a common man or woman but once you understand uh, what exactly the consumer wants in india or abroad uh, the first interaction of any uh, consumer with anything that you consume will be with the packaging we never look at it from that perspective and uh, the kind of value addition the packaging can do to the products that you manufacture i'm not trying to uh, increase the profits of the corporations or something but in the end a corporation which is functioning or a company which has been established it has a profit mot motive so there if the resources are utilized to maximize the revenue earned that will sustain the growth of the the company as well as its employees and the kind of experience that the consumer gains out of a proper packaging experience that adds to the aesthetics of it uh, the sustainability of it and uh, the overall perspective changes of the whole experience so one is a high end kind of packaging the other is the the uh, low or medium kind of packaging all three are important because there are strata of consumers of all kinds and therefore what i would uh, be requesting the the fraternity of packaging is to come out with solutions which help the economy and the last man in the line as gandhi ji said the the point is that the resources are limited and those resources have to be utilized in such a manner that the cost of transportation the safety uh, involved of the goods which are being transported from the factory or the place of manufacture to the place of storage and the place of consumption this process has minimum damage because studies have indicated that in the international trade itself roughly 10% of the goods suffer some kind of deterioration and that that leads to losses for the mankind i am talking a very uh, lofty uh, kind of sentence speaking but the point is whatever is lost is a loss to the humanity in that sense because that cannot be used in the sense it was supposed to be used so from that point of view if our storage capacity has to be utilized well then the transportation and the packaging thereof of food grain let's say the basic requirement of human kind is is food grains so if the packaging is done well while the goods are being transported from the farm to the warehouse or storage and from there to the consumers in a proper fashion so that there is no mold there is nothing which ha hampers because the humidity or during transportation or the temperature during transportation that should not that should not end up disturbing the uh, ability of a consumer to utilize it well and the the non vegetarian things that are being being transported there 
viruses can come in by some uh, some form and therefore the the future of uh, packaging will depend on how we are able to control the damaging factors at the least cost so in that sense uh, from our perspective what i am looking at i know it's a temporary association of mine with the packaging world but i will be keeping track of your movements in future also just being part of you so what i expect is that some kind of packaging material revolutions would take place the kind of packaging that we are doing that is a plastic packaging although uh, single use plastic is banned now and uh, that has to have an impact on the way we function as a packaging industry uh, but the point is the pack plastics non single use itself is not the end of the world uh, the kind of uh, fiber based uh, plastic uh, the packing materials that you can uh, manufacture if some research can be done in that direction which is creating packaging materials which are biodegradable uh, that will help the the packaging industry becoming sustainable in the long run the whole world is looking at every process involved with manufacture and consumption uh, with a fine tooth comb and in that sense it is very very important for us to understand that run of the mill or doing whatever you have been doing till now in the last 30 40 50 years whatever is your working life so far will not really help us what is going to happen is all this plastics and all that are leading to the marine pollution you may be aware every second breath that we take that is an oxygen which comes from the oceans so if the marine pollution uh, plastic pollution takes place i just read the a um, newspaper while coming from bombay in flight yesterday that there is a uh, off the coast of brazil a uh, plastic rock has been uh, discovered plastic uh, pollution in uh, in the ocean and off the coast of brazil uh, impacted the rocks there and the rocks are now made of plastics and that's a, a massive thing basically if our plastics are entering the ocean and they are not being uh, cleaned somehow or going to the bottom of the ocean and somehow disturbing the marine life aquatic life and so on that's a wake up call for us if we needed one so what i'm asking you to think about is that run your businesses do it well but remember that unless you move in the sustainable plastic packaging uh, sustainable packaging direction it will be very difficult for us to you know in the next 20 30 40 years when the temperature goes up further to really uh, uh, hold our head high as they say when you hang your boots some of you so i my um, the the kind of talking points that were given to me i don't really look at them i'm telling you what i expect from the packaging industry and in that the the people who are joining the industry now as the professionals who have uh, earned a degree from iip or wherever or who are intending to do so they have a major major role to play and i urge all of you to think about it and do some research in that direction uh, the asian packaging federation representatives are here my uh, best wishes to them and uh, i compliment them for Uh, having this one to one because i have had some meetings with you but that was on a video conference so i'm very happy meeting you yesterday evening during the dinner and today as well i will be part of the uh, the conference and deliberations i intend to be here through the day so that i soak in everything that the intelligent people have to mention about packaging uh, i'm very keen that uh, my contribution to you is as a facilitator so talking about my institute we are trying to expand our role and therefore going to the various corners of the country opening new kind of facilities everywhere because testing is one area which gives us revenue but what is important is the training of the young professionals they need to be uh, given the right kind of education with the right kind of experience with the industry and on the machinery so that is one role which uh, i want to fulfill in a more uh, uh appreciable measure uh it's a it's a difficult task but i look forward to any kind of suggestions from the industry and uh, other participants who want to make indian institute of packaging a better institute because uh, the when the name indian is added to it it adds to the gravitas of the institution 
and uh, that's a that's a tough responsibility on your shoulders so that that's what i want to mention to you yesterday the event was uh, packaging 3s which has gone off very well i could not attend it because i had some meetings in the commerce ministry so uh, i wanted to attend but i could not come so i'm sorry on that account uh, the institute is uh, geared towards providing you the best kind of services we are a service industry if you are training and we are providing uh, testing service and r and d is one area where uh, i am seeing that we have not done very well so far although some patents are there with iip but they are not substantive so i would uh, look forward to the faculty and other people involved with iip to be deeply associated with any kind of research opportunity that is there Um, uh, we have got some leads on that. Uh, uh, the IIP Delhi has done some work on the one district, one product uh, packaging. So they, these are small steps. I am looking at something uh, path breaking, and I hope that uh, this research conclave uh, has some ideas where we can take them forward. And uh, I am very, very happy that you are here in such large numbers. and uh, i hope to see you end of the day because it's going to be a tough tough day listening to things so i wish you all the best to the organization dr tanvir alam and his team and to all the gentlemen who have come mr chakravarti and i am very bad at remembering names so kindly pardon me i i just don't remember them names mr chakravarti's name is very unique so i remember that with great difficulty okay so uh, i i want to stop here so that uh, others who have more uh, substantive things to speak can speak so i wish you all the success and in case of any suggestions you can always get back to me i'm here throughout the day uh, we can speak offline today or online some other day and uh, the dignitaries who have come from a foreign country i wish them a safe journey back home after enjoying the great country that india is Uh, i want to end with the speech of uh, the quotation from gandhi ji a uh, father of our nation who said that the earth has enough for every man's need but not enough for any man's greed so we have to remember that you have since you have been capable enough to come here and to participate in this you have a bigger responsibility to fulfill i am just asking you to be alive to that kind of responsibility and uh, serve well thank you very much jai hind